Hi, my name is Gail Thackeray and I'm a medium. And that means that I can tune into the other side and I sense things, I feel things, and I see things that people don't normally see. We're here at Glastonbury Abbey and this is the actual site where King Arthur's body was found in the 12th century. They actually found a lead lined coffin and there were two bodies in there, a man and a woman and it said that it was King Arthur and his wife Guinevere. They're not here anymore, I mean the bodies were taken away. There was, when this was actually a church, um, there was a really big fancy marble tomb um, for the bodies but the abbey was dissolved, everything was broken up. We don't really know what happened to the bones. So for hundreds of years, this has been a place of pil pilgrimage, pilgrimage yes, whether is. they you know, believed it was here or not. Absolutely, yes. And of course, people love to come and listen to legends and look for Arthur, tread in the footsteps of Arthur. So wherever he is now. <laughs> of course, if you're a druid, you believe that King Arthur isn't actually dead. He's just sleeping under a hill somewhere, ready to come out mm. in the time of Britain's greatest need. at the Glastonbury tour and legend has it that King Arthur and his knights are actually buried here and one day they're going to wake up and come back. Amazing energy up here. I'm waiting for a client and we're going to do some healing work. So I'm going to see if we can tap into that energy of King Arthur and the knights and see if we can use that in our session today. So I don't know if you can feel it, but there's a lot of spiritual energy here. And as I was sitting here, um, actually standing to pick up on some people around you. Are you going to go through a big transition here right now? Yes. It's like you're going through a doorway. You're entering a new in phase faith. in your life. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to put you down into a meditation. So I want you to close your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one. And I want you to imagine that you're at the bottom of this hill and there's a beautiful door. And behind that door is deep inside your subconscious, your connection to this part of the world. Can you reconnect with the energy of this ancient time? Yes. I want you to imagine that you're in one of your ceremonies. Put yourself in a time and place, years and years ago, and you're doing one of your sacred ceremonies and you're feeling that beautiful white light and it's coming down through your crown and through your heart chakra and reconnect with that energy. Okay, I want you to put your hand over your heart. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to ask to connect in with the beautiful spirits of this land and particularly with St. Francis and for King Arthur and his knights and all the beautiful energies that are here. <laughs> Are you willing to open your heart and allow this energy to come in? Absolutely. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to open up your crown and I want you to feel that energy coming into your heart. Take a deep breath. One, two, three. So you're inside the tour, connecting with that beautiful energy that comes up through this tour through Mother Earth, through your body and out through the top. Do you feel that beautiful light? you feel mm -hmm. that beautiful connection? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to bring it into this life? Absolutely. Okay, walk towards the arch. When you're ready, step out into this life. Take a deep breath. Keep that energy within you. And wake up. You feel energized? Oh, I feel energized. <laughs> Wow! That was pretty powerful. Oh. <sighs>
Behind me is Merlin's cave, where legend has it that Merlin used to cast his spells. So we're gonna wait for the tide to go out a little bit so we can get inside there and see if we can feel the magic of Merlin. And above on the hillside is the castle of Tintagel, which is the castle where King Arthur was born. We can only come here at low tide because at high tide, this entire cave is filled with water. Wow, you can feel the energy, very magical. You can really feel the energy, wow. And the water actually comes through here most of the day. You can only come here at certain times, but you can really feel the energy. I can really feel the energy here, but I'm going to try my pendulum. Yeah, wow, this is very strong, powerful magic energy. I'm going to ask my pendulum if Merlin was really here in this place that I'm standing. Was Merlin really here? And I'm getting a very strong yes. And I'm not surprised because you can feel it. You can feel how magic it is here. And imagine that he cast his spells here. Wow. Connect in with the energy of Merlin. Here we are in Cornwall, and this is Dosemary Pool. So legend has it that one of King Arthur's knights, Sir Bedivere, came here with his sword Excalibur, and he threw it into the lake, and the Lady of the Lake reached up and grabbed his sword. So this is very magical energy. There's a lot of mysteries associated with this, a lot of sightings. I'm gonna make a wish. Checking out the energy here at Dosemary Pool. And as you can see, it's pretty strong. It's nice feminine energy. But I asked my pendulum, is it true? Was it really a knight that came here and put his sword into the lake? And it gave me a big strong yes. So maybe there is something in that legend. We're going up to St. Michael's Mount and the castle on the top. And it's known here for the sighting of Archangel Michael. We're gonna go feel the energy up there. These are the pilgrim steps. And the pilgrims used to have to walk up here on their knees all the way up to the castle. I'm gonna take the easy way and walk up them. This is the giant's heart, and legend has it that there was a giant here, came to the island and was taking the sheep and causing uh, all kinds of problems. So King Arthur came and he slayed the giant, and they say that this is the giant's heart, and if you touch it, you can still feel the heart beating. So I'm gonna touch it and see. Well, it must have been a very nice giant because it's very nice here, it feels very good. This is the castle on the top of St. Michael's Mount. There are three ley lines on this little island and they cross right here where I'm standing. So you can imagine that's why they saw the apparition of Archangel Michael. This is the very spot where St. Michael was seen. There were fishermen out here in the water and in 495, they were out there and they saw this apparition of St. Michael's on the rocks. And because they saw him, they were saved and they didn't crash into the rocks. 
and that is why this point, this island is called St. Michael's Mount. And also this very spot here, there are three ley lines that cross, so the energy is right here. And this is the very start of the St. Michael's ley line. Rock and this little chapel up here is a hermit chapel dedicated to Angel Michael. So many, many people came up here to pray and to feel this beautiful spiritual energy. It just feels fantastic. And look at the rock up here. You can actually see the faces in there, and it looks like three beautiful men just taking care of this place. Very spiritual here. <laughs> 